In this problem, we're trying to find the monthly rate of return that's going to let Tora achieve her retirement goals. So we know that right now, Tora has $175,000 in her account. We also know that she wants to have $300,000 when she retires in two years. So at this point in time, which is 24 months from now, she's going to want to retire with $300,000. Now, in addition to the money that's initially saved, she plans on contributing and making monthly contributions of $2,600 per month for two years, with her first payment made later today and her last payment made in one year, 11 months. So, she's going to be paying 2.6 thousand. 2600 here, here, oh, here times zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and time twenty three. If she makes her first payment today at time zero, and then makes monthly payments with her last in one year, 11 months, that's 24 payments. We also know it's 24 because it says she plans to save 2,600 per month for two years. And what we want to know is what is the rate of return that she needs to earn each month so that the 175 plus the present value of all of these 2,600s, when you add them all up, gets her $300,000. So once you set it up and know what's going on, it's a very straightforward problem uh, to use in your financial calculator. So what we want to know is we're going to be solving for the interest rate. So we want to know what question is now, what are the values of our other four variables? Well, n, n is equal to 24. Well, first of all, we're going to want to put this in begin mode. The reason we're going to put it in begin mode is because when we tell it that our payment is $2,600, negative $2,600, because every month Tor is going to be paying in $2,600. The first one happens at time zero. And that's what the begin mode is. Tells the calculator how many payments are there. There's 24 in 24 periods from today. So zero to this point in time, which is in 24 periods, she wants to have Three hundred thousand, and the present value, how much she has today, it's as if she invested today, minus minus one hundred and seventy-five thousand. And again, the reason it works with the calculator not only n is twenty-four because there's twenty-four payments, with the begin mode telling it times zero to time 23. PV tells it an extra something at time zero. FE tells it how much we'll have in n periods, which is 24, which is consistent with what our timeline is telling us and is consistent with what's going on with Torah. So if we put this in and we solve for I percent, you get 1.11. So 1.11 1.11% is how much she has to earn each month. So the 175 will grow for 24 months at 1.11% per month. The first 2.6K, the first 2600 will also grow by 1.11% per month for 24. This one will grow by for 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
Then she'll make her last payment, and that'll grow for one month. The sum of all of those, $300,000.